Hello, hello, hello everyone out there in the Luxac Legion. Alex here with Luxac Games here for round three of this modern preliminary. Let's get it. Wind die roll? Maybe? Yes? Hey, White Faces is here. We played their uh, legacy deck recently. Lost the die roll. Bummer. We prefer to win those, especially in this format. Easy mulligan, no green source for that, no double. Um, this one's a riskier keep, but I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I'm going to bottom the O-Stone. Karn can go get O-Stone. Karn's a better threat by itself. We get to take a draw step before we once upon a time, so we might natural into a Tron piece as well. We basically get six looks at a natural Tron piece, but we're keeping the um, green source as well over the o -stone. I think casting future things is good. Current finds and plays a windswept teeth. Gets a breeding pool. Cast a glistener elf. Oh my god, they actually did cast a glistener elf. That's like our nightmare. All right, well. Well. <laughs> we drew a Tron piece. That's, that's not great. Let's go ahead and once. We whiffed on once. Okay. Okay. Pretty low chance we win this game. So we're just going to go ahead and yield and pretend that we needed that once to. We're, we're effectively conceding to conceal information. Because uh, the opponent doesn't get to see any of the cards revealed off of the once upon a time. So the opponent is likely just going to kill us here, <laughs> and, or, and or put us to a ton of infect, which we wouldn't have been able to race anyways. This is us dying. Plus four, plus four. Actually just dead. Perfect. So, it's actually better we missed here, and here's the irony. It's better we missed here, because we get to hide information, and they were killing us no matter what. God, Infect is a bad die roll to lose. Infect is a real bad die roll to lose. So let's bring in Walking Ballista. Relic of Pajanus. Pithing Needle. Home Coral Engine. So bad. So bad. Choja Colors are okay. Ulamog's, Ulamog, the almost uncastable. I think I'm going to leave one as a tutorable target, but the almost uncastable. The Staring Bridge doesn't matter unless we plan on mulliganing to zero. O-Stone's great, so let's go ahead and bring that in. Ugin's way slow. Transfer's great. I mentioned Ugin was way slow, right? Then again, Ugin does, you know what? I think I want Ugin over Ulamog. Because tutoring uh, Walking Bliss is fine. With Sanctum of Ugin, let's try it like this. We have a pile of hate cards. Would you like to play first? Yes. Wow, this is a mole. Let's see, take a look at this hand. Sands Keep. I'm gonna go ahead and bottom the redundant piece. We want to keep the Ghost Quarter in case of Ink Moth Nexus. All right, the opponent's now laughing that we're on Tron. I don't blame them. I do not blame them in the slightest for laughing that we're on Tron. Also, I just lost power in the house. <laughs> so, thank you, battery backup. Do you have Elf on one opponent? Oh, opponent's gonna try and find Elf on one. That's a good fetch to thin if they're just looking specifically for Elf. Arx a good find for them. Oh god, they already had the Elf. <sighs> fire. You're fire out of the opponent. All right. Well, we're going to pass the turn. We're going to have Tron on three, and I don't think it's going to matter. Give me an Ugin. Yeah, this is uh, the worst possible matchup. It's almost effectively a buy for Infect. It's a little unfortunate we rolled into it. Uh, I personally think Infect's a great deck. 
Um, but it's been definitely downtrending in popularity. So, hello, bane of our existence. Are you going to scale up us? Opponent might be hesitant as far as scale up because we might have a spatial contortion and or warping wave. So we're going to perpetuate that by pausing for these triggers. All right, opponent's just going to hit us for two. See if they have an additional infector. They do. Two elves is not a great situation for us. We really were hoping for Blighted Agent and or um, Ink Moth Nexus, the much more interactable side of their deck. Great card, great creator, really? Really? All right, well. Go ahead and play Karn. We don't have that many great wish targets in our board anymore. It'd be great if we could go wish for like transfer and all that, but we boarded all those in. Because we were on the play. So let's see what we're going to grab here. I believe the best choice here is liquid metal coating. I don't think we're going to live long enough for it to matter, but we're going to try. Uh, we're going to name Misty Rainforest as it's possibly in their deck, possibly not, but still definitely an activated ability. And we already have Ghost Quarter for Ink Moth, so let's go ahead and artifact that. And see if it's turn. All right, but it might still just kill us. Wood foothills. That's unfortunate. They had a second wood foothills. Possible they're playing budget fetches as well. Looks like we might just be dead again. All right, that's not quite dead. That is dead. That's eight. Bummer. Like I said, nightmare matchup. We have died. Ironically, if we had named Wood Foothills instead, we would not have died there. Unfortunate. Uh, we wouldn't have lived to Cassio Stone. This is a very good matchup for our opponent. All right, thank you everyone for tuning in. Alex here with Luxet Games, losing quickly. Uh, if you like content like this, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button on the video to support the content at no cost to you. And I'll see you next time. Alex here with Luxet Games, wishing you an awesome day.